How are we doing, YouTube? I'm Thomas of Tomology. All right, so you just installed Windows 11, Windows 10. You either that or you've had it for a while, and you're wondering what kind of apps or what things that you do need for your PC. So these are going to be six of my apps that I think that everyone must have. Uh, one of them is a newer one, uh, but the other ones, they've been around for a while. But these are going to be my top six uh, that I think that you should... Everyone should have on their PC no matter what. There's a lot of other things that are, depending on your case scenario, this is regardless if you're a gamer, if you're a content creator, uh, if you're, you know, business, whatever. I believe that this should be on here. One of them might not be because of business, but I believe that this is what everyone should have on their PC. The first one is 7-Zip, a free open source file archiver and compressor. It compresses high compression ratios. So I think this is one's better. The only other one that would be out there would be WinRAW. And a lot of people say they have problems with, with you know, trying to find WinRAW. I mean, I can come in here and WinRAW, WinRAW free. And uh, I mean, I can find it everywhere. I uh, I actually have a uh, download, fo uh, download file that I already have. I've had it for years. So you can go to their site directly. You can buy it or you can download it. So the free version is the same thing. It's just, it's an unpacker or a repacker. And Win WinRAW is really, really good. I really like it. I've been using WinRAW since probably 2006. So WinRAW, I mean, this is a, a close competitor to uh, WinZip. So I'll go ahead and leave it up here that way. Because uh, like I said, I'm going to leave all these links down below. So the next one up is uh, hardware info. So you got a couple of different hardware infos. Again, all you do is you come here, you hit download, and you hit local, and it's going to download it locally for you right here. And now what it does is it shows every sensor on your PC. This is very, very handy uh, for anyone you know, that's either overclocking or just wants to see certain things. So like right now, I mean, I can come back down here and clear my minimums. And then, uh, because I was doing some things right before I started recording, but this is with me recording right now. So it's telling me what all my cores are. It's telling me I have my, you know, 13700. What, what cores are doing what? What's my voltage? So not only that, it tells you everything about your system. Well, I had an MSI, uh, or my old MSI. My my. So I had the MSI uh, MPG Edge, not the Edge Two, but the the first Edge. And the first one I had, the PCH was running warm, but my Asus board was running warm too back on my Z690. So the only way I found out was because of this program right here. So you can come down through here and you start looking at everything, and it tells you what it is you know, in the, the the first description of it up here at the top. But when you come down, you start seeing, okay, memory. What's my memory timings? So I have mine set to 6,400. I actually have 7,800, but this chip is just my the 13,700K that I have. But I originally got this to go with the 13,900K when it first came out, but that was a beast to try to control. It's a cool, it's too much, too much hassle for me. So here we go. So here's my motherboard. So I have the Z790 Edge Wi-Fi, Z790. And right here, the PCH, I was running like 70 on my PCH. Right now, I'm actually running a little bit warmer because I'm redoing my water loop. Uh, stay tuned for that video. Uh, as I was doing my water loop, I, apparently they didn't send me some of my parts. So I had to slap it back together because it's my only PC. So it's not completely done yet. So I got all new uh, white fittings, and it was just time for maintenance. So I got a few more things that will be in at the end of this week, and I'll, I'll get to it. It's, everything should be here by Wednesday. So hopefully by Thursday, Friday, I'll have a new updated uh, video of my teardown of the PC. I'm going to do a teardown, uh, repad, and thermal paste of my MSI Supreme X 4090. What else we got here? I got a new water block. I got a new RAM block. Uh, the RAM block has a little LCD screen, lets me know what my water temperature is. So I can see between, again, with this program here, what my water temps are doing versus my 
uh, CPU temp. So, oh, sorry, got an itch on my nose. Uh, like and subscribe, you'll see what what that looks like as soon as I post it. But anyway, so you can come in here and you can look at all your temperatures of everything. You can see your DRAM. So again, my DRAM is actually water cooled. So 29 degrees is what I'm getting on my DRAM. But you can see what yours is doing and temperature it will tell what a problem is or a problem that you have with your system through temperature. Uh it shows with hard drive. So my first hard drive is my uh PCI Gen 5 which I bought this one thinking that this board day said that it was Gen 5, but it's only the first PCI Express slot that's Gen 5. And if I use it and got an add-in card to use it for it, then it's going to drop my video card to times 8, and I don't want to do that. Anyways, so it's telling me, you know, what I have. I have a 2 terabyte, the model, the CT, CT2000 temperature. I do have these on heat sinks. I do have thermal pads. I uh, also got new thermal pads coming in for them. And then I have, I am a huge, huge supporter of the Western Digital SN850Xs. Oh my God. These things are fast. So they're, they're you know, 38, 38, 39, 40. And this is my min. You can set whatever you want. Normally there's like min, max, uh, low, the average. I want what it is right now and the maximum I'm getting. That's what I want to see. So you can customize this however you want. So <clears throat> there's, let's see, one, two, three hard drives because I have three of them. Uh, things like this right here, the read-write speed as you're doing something, you can see how fast. So a lot of people, they'll go down download Crystal Disk, uh, Crystal Disk and uh, see how fast their hard drives are going. Man, when you're transferring something, you can see real-time, not a benchmark, real-time what a transfer is doing right now with this hardware 64. I mean, it's it's awesome. Um, I've been using this for eons now for a long, long time. Uh, but there's two different ones. You need to make sure you're using Hardware Info 64. Uh, I forgot what the other one. I think it's this Hardware Info without the 64. Make sure you're using the Hardware Info 64. So, again, it tells you everything. So, like, you can minimize these where things that you don't want to show... You can come in here, you can right click it, and you can say, you know, hide that one if you want to hide that one. So now here's my video card. So now instead of having other programs say like MSI, and yes, I don't care, I have all my icons down here. I already had one person comment saying, oh, your desktop's dirty. Man, I have four or five, it's on my other screen right now. I have four or five little folders right here, plus my recycle bin. And then all my hotkeys are right here. Everything's not running. I don't have everything running. So only what is needed do I have running. Anyways, you, instead of having MSI running here, unless you're just overclocking or whatever else, if you're just using this just for your temperature and to see everything, I can see it all right here. So I can actually you know, move this one up here with my CPU and... I, again, I can customize this. I just redid my Windows uh, four or five days ago, so uh, I normally have it a lot more organized. So, all right, you keep going down. I mean, you can see everything. You can see your G, you know, your hotspot. Here's my hotspot. No, here's my hotspot. So again, everything's here. Your network. You can see down to your network, whether it's the the Ethernet or your Wi-Fi. So there's just so much here. Uh, you can go to settings. Again, you can change everything how you have it. You have an uh, on-screen display. You now that's what OSD means. There are so many other functions of this free program. Free, 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 free. Uh, that commercial just always gets to me for tax time. But you can do, you know, you show in. And it has its own where you don't have to use Reaver Tuner. Reaver Tuner, like with me, when I go to Fortnite or anywhere else, I cannot record my gameplay because of Reaver Tuner. Certain things, it is it sees it as a um, 
a, a cheat, I guess, because I guess it's the anti-cheat kicking in. But no, this right here is, like I said, you can do all that with this program here, which is really, really nice. All right, so next up, I'll go ahead and close that out. So next up, we have VLC Player. All right. So, again, you just click here. I'll have links down below. Uh, you don't have to donate. This is a free program. Just click on it. Download for, you know, just like normal. Download anything. But VLC Player, what I like about it versus Media Center, even though I do use both. Let me go ahead and get this out of the way off the screen. So, VLC Player, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to find me a video real quick all right so here's me a video and a lot of times with media center media center will uh keep popping up for codex so yes i do play video games yes i do post them uh, i don't do it that often i only got like 10 subscribers on that channel uh I, again i have three different channels i'm doing a bunch of different things but anyways but yeah i, I can sit here and i can keep let me try to get it to show up real quick. See if I can get it to show up. Let me go to a different one. Uh, there we go. Checking codec. And then it wants me to pay for this codec right here. All right. I don't I don't think I don't need it. All right. So again, I with, with VLC player, you will never need that codec. And come in here, drop it in, open it up, do whatever, and then I can play it. You know. So this right here, the the codec problem or audio, different audio things, you can disable certain things, but the codec is the biggest thing is you have to pay for more codecs where this is a free program too and it has everything built in. And if something new comes out, like between Dolby Atmos and everything else, it adds it to it automatically. It's in, in their updates, no, no matter what, it's there, it's in their update. So again, like I said, this is one of the ones that I mean I like. I think everybody should have VLC player. This is just one. Uh, there's other things you can change your skin to it, uh, add extensions to it. There, there's different things. All right, next up, this is Microsoft's answer to CC Cleaner, which you know a lot of those programs are actually bad for your computer. So Microsoft designed their own. And it's free. There's no change in registry. There's no nothing. It is absolutely free. I already put it down here. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to open it up. Okay, so we can see it here. I can hit boost. Boop. It deleted to whatever temporary files I just had. It just deleted it. And freed up, what, almost 10%, so 8%. You got so many different things in here. You got two toolboxes you can screenshot things you got different apps in here <clears throat> app manager you can i can end any task so this is again this is like task manager i can end things right here startup apps i've already disabled all my startup apps and it's uh it's telling me they're here so this one i keep on that's for my dell uh, Fortnite, I only need like four or three of these. Let's see. Nope, nope, nope. Uh, yeah, Steam Deck stays on. GG stays on. No, no. Yes, stays on. That's for my microphone I'm talking on. No, no. And Display stays on. But anyways, so I'll come in here and I'll clean up in a little bit. Then we got storage. You can clean and go through your storage here. That That's just, you know, for a free program, this is like 100% you know, where it needs to be at, this should already be installed with Windows. Something like this needs to be there. If they're adding in an antivirus like Windows Defender, which is kind of trash, but it works to a degree, they need to add in a cleaner program like this. This this right here is really, really nice that they did, or that you can actually get now, and it is by them. So, again, you can do all this, and you can do cleanups with uh, CC Cleaner, and but at the end... People delete their registries, which is deleting almost things that need to be ran on their PC. 
All right, so checking for Windows Update. So this is just a one-stop shop. You don't have to come down here, search, and start searching. So if you look at me right here, I got my red gadget, but I got uh, check for updates. I got, uh, what else do I got in here? App control, because I go through a lot of different things. So security update for update uh, for Intel. Let's see. I'll do it in a little while. But anyway, so again, protection, default browser settings. Look, this is like shortcuts also for other things in your PC. So like me, I make Google my main, so I can come here and change it. Uh, restore default apps, taskbar repair. I mean, there's there's so many different things in here. Again, startup time, three seconds is what my startup time so the last time that I restarted my PC, it only took me three seconds, which is super, super fast. Um, processes. Again, there's my processes. But yeah, no, this this is a much needed app. Smart Boost. Man, I don't need that. Some of these I haven't even done. Uh, I don't start it with Windows automatically. But yeah, that right there, that's that's another i think everybody needs some type of cleaner or to go through because you can't just keep defragment or optimize disk management all the time on your hard drives even these ssds there it's going to tear them up i don't care what i don't care there's no needle in it no more it will wind up tearing them up it's already been proven that it will tear them up so all right, so now this one is whether you're a gamer, I know you're going to say, hey, I'm not a gamer, I don't need this. I'm going to tell you right now, I think everybody needs this program. Sonar GG is one of the most this b badass programs that I've ever used. I've heard of, you know, like Elgato Wave, their programs and everything, but Sonar GG is free. So with GG now saying that, I can come in here, I can go to my mic, I can come in here and I can change the way that I sound. Okay, so now I should sound different to you right now. Again, I should sound different to you right now. Again, I should sound different to you right now. All right, put it back on where I was. That's this one cool feature. The other one is you're going to hear all my background right now. I can, can I can put on the AI noise cancellation without losing any of my voice. Uh, compressors, though, I can turn compressor off. I don't like that much compression in my voice. I, you got auxiliary. You got media. You got chat. This is like anyone else that's coming through and say you're, you're in a Zoom meeting or a team meeting or whatever you're doing and you're recording it, you can make the the audio a lot cleaner, just like what we did say with the microphone. So again, I can come in here and I can change it to broad class clarity, whatever, then go to still series, my presets, you know, so there's so many different different ones that you can do. Uh, same thing with, so game. How do you want your game to sound? My, I mainly play Modern Warfare uh, or my Call of Duty. You can put on you know, your surround sound. There is a volume boost. This is all in your ears. Now me, I have, I'm not going to turn it off right now because I don't want to mess it up. I have streamer mode. So now what streamer mode does, it allows me, I can sit here and, oh, that was a master. I can mute whatever ones I want to mute and these won't be on my stream or say I'm in a game and I don't want the game that loud. I want to make sure that chat and my mic is the loudest so I can turn my mic down. I adjust mine through my uh, XLR interface, but I can set my mic down low and then set my game like wherever it needs to be at for my game. I don't want my chat lobby to over talk me so I can set them a little bit lower than me. Say I'm listening to music in the background. I can put it like this right here and it's going to come through my headset. Well, say I only want, I have some, uh, you know, uncopyrighted content out there. Then I can just mute it for me 
and then I can have it soft playing in the background. This program is endless. And it is free. I cannot stress that enough. It's free. So people have compared it to the Elgato, and they have said that this is just so much better. It's just the Elgato has a couple of other little things that goes into their ecosystem of their cameras and their mics and everything else. I mean, literally, truly, my very first Elgato, I'm trying to think right now, device is my uh, stream deck that I just got. I've never had one before. Um <laughs> So if you haven't checked out that unboxing, I have the new uh, Neo. Go check that out. You know, I'll try to leave a link down in the description for it as well. If not, check out my other videos. Like, subscribe. I got other one, other stuff coming out. Like, um, uh, what is it? Oh, it's one of the newest ones out there right now. Um, there it is, Game Sir. It's a Game Sir G8. So uh, I. I ordered it last week. It's supposed to, I'm hoping it would be here Monday. It's in Georgia right now. It, it is coming out from China. So uh, just like the um, Faya Tech or, or Faya, Faya, whatever, there's another controller too with the Hall Effect controllers in it. I mean, I love my DualSense Edge, and I did a video about that, about overclocking or how fast some of these controllers are. Uh, go Go watch that. I mean, I'm not trying to just get you to go watch my videos. I mean, it'd be nice if, if y'all go watch them, but I'm I'm an all-arounder, and I, I like to do reviews on things. I want to do a lot of reviews on products, give honest reviews, but I also want to tell people, you know, things to do. I see other people, and they just don't explain certain things, or they have their way, I have my way. You might understand better from my way than somebody else's way. All right, so up to the last program. So what I like about this program here... Okay, it's called Revo Uninstaller. And again, there's so many people out there that do videos on this as well. Revo Uninstaller is a very miss, uh, miss hit app that is really starting to become mainstream and it's been around for years. So it is free. You can actually get it for your mobile. And I didn't know that until today, actually. So I did download it for my mobile or on my mobile device. I'm going to go through it later. So let's just see something. Yes, I have a lot of icons within my Google too. <laughs> this is where I'm going. I'm trying to think of something to download real quick uh, and install. Let's see here. Let me just open it up and see if there's something that I don't want or, you know, that ain't going to hurt my computer much to run like i said i don't have much that's it that's all that's on my computer i don't have much at all on here that's what i'm saying pretty much what's down here is what's in here uh we'll do ebga all right say i download this program it wasn't working right for me and i don't want it no more so you would normally go to control panel programs and features come here and you would uninstall it from here. The problem with it is there's so many, basically I know being in the around PCs or your building or you're on or whatever, you might've heard of a PC kernel. It's like popcorn. You know, you go, you go put your popcorn in the microwave. You put it on that three minutes or two minutes or 1.5 minutes, however long your popcorn is, you put it on, you pop it all. You don't hear it popping no more. And you're like, okay, before I burn it, you turn it off, you pull it out, you pour it into your bowl, but yet there's still like four or five kernels in there. It's like, how, or sometimes even 10. It's like, how did you not pop? Because it's residual. It's what's left over. So that's basically what Revo is going to do. It's going to take those kernels off or any folders, anything that's in there, temporary files, whatever, off. So you come here, you hit um, EBJ, you hit your uninstall. You can make a restore point. Sometimes I suggest when your computer is running its best, make you a restore point and always go back to that point. If you install a game or you install another program and you're you know a month down the road, make you another one. If you start making too many of them, delete your old ones. Keep your very first one, but then delete the ones in between them. So I'm not going to make a restore. I'm going to hit continue. 
it's in advanced mode. Let me go ahead and uninstall it. Now it's going to do just what uh, control panel would have did. I'm going to hit finish. Now, safe, moderate, advanced. You read this and you use your best judgment. That's all I can say on this. Me, I like to do advanced because I know I know how to fix my computer if I break it. Hit scan. And look at this. Every single directory, registry items, where this program was installed. Why does this program need to be here? Why does it need to be, you know, in some of these other ones? I don't know. But you select all, you delete. Hit yes. Okay, it still has one lap. Select, delete. Yes, that's it. You are done. You close it out, you are done. So, again, I know this is a 30-minute video, sorry. But these are my six main ones that, I mean, I have on here at all times. And when I say that I do everything that or have certain programs that I do at all times, I will literally show you real quick, and then I'll be done. I actually have a, a, a folder with all my applications for whenever I redo Windows. So here's my folder, and I have everything that I want to install, get rid of, or, or get rid of, to install on mine. I might not need it right now, but I might need it again later, like IV Cam. I don't need that no more because I was using my cell phone before I got my good camera, but I might want to use that for a secondary camera. But I keep everything all organized in a folder. Like A lot of my buddies are like, dude, how can you redo your Windows and be up and running with, within a couple of hours? I redo Windows. I have that right there. I install everything. I have super fast internet, Call of Duty, 260 gigs. Uh, only takes me roughly 22 minutes to download, and I'm over with. But anyways, again, these are my my top six choices. You might have yours. Uh, now, if you're a, a video creator or whatever, CapCut, DaVinci, you have other ones. If you're a streamer, OBS, uh, what else do I have down here? Uh, also, with your videos, Handbrake. Handbrake is uh, one of your best friends. So... Uh, I might I might actually do a video between CapCut, DaVinci, and Handbrake. So, again, like and subscribe. Stay tuned. Because, again, I might actually do that one. That way people know. Because a lot of people have a problem. They make a video. They record it. Or like me, I'm recording in 4K. When this video is done, I'm going to be sitting somewhere around 5 gigabits. But when I upload it, I'm only uploading maybe a, a 1 to 2 gigs because of Handbrake. But anyways, I'm Thomas with Tomology. I'll catch you all in the next one.